Welcome to my presentation of the scientific article Implications of Circumpolar Genetic Structure of Polar Bears for Their Conservation in a Rapidly Warming Arctic. This paper is issued in January of 2015 and it analyzed the genetic variations of polar bears during the last two decades where climate change declines matrix of sea ice. As you can see it from the graph, the Arctic sea ice extent has been decreased over the 24 years. In another graph, the white area on the map is the sea ice extent as and you can see it how much the sea ice has been declined over the last two decades in more uh, picture form. Polar bear survival depends on sea ice for foraging, migration, and mating. However, the ki climate change in the last two decades causing a lot of ice melting, which now the habitat of polar bear narrowed up. As a result, the polar bear body condition, survival, and population size reduced. Based on that, scientists predicted that two-thirds of the circumpolar population might be extirpated within half a century. In this report, scientists evaluate whether the polar bear's genetic diversity and structure have changed over the last few generations. 2,700 polar bear's DNA samples are collected from 80 subpopulations in four clusters that are largely correspond to the current ecological factors. They include Eastern Polar Basin, Western Polar Basin, Canadian Archipelago, and Southern Canada. From the result of the data that collected, it showed that there are no significant levels of genoty genotypic differences between historical and modern time periods. However, it detects the population of polar bear reduced in some of the subpopulation, and this is an evidence of the climate warming of the recent decades have led early breakup of sea ice and causing negative effects that impacts the polar bear habitats. Nevertheless, it shows there are an increase of directional gene flows into the Canadian archipelago from the Eastern Polar Basin and Southern Canada as shown in the arrows in here. And this has only occurred in the current era of sea ice decline. In conclusion, the, de the climate change in the recent era have brought two major impacts to the community of polar bears. The first one is the reduction of polar bear in subpopulation due to the decline of sea ice habitat. And this ph phenomenon is unlikely to change unless the greenhouse emissions are reduced and climate warming are slow. The second one is the predominant seasonal ice movement causing the directional gene flow from other clusters toward Canadian archipelago. And Canadian archipelago is the area that predicted to be the future refugium for polar bears as climate-induced habitat continues.